So now that we have our second diagram done here for the one on the back side, we can move to part B. Now unlike the front side where we had to calculate the separation between the charges, in this particular problem they gave it to us as one of our knowns. So we can jump straight in to putting in our Coulomb's Law equation. And even though things are at an angle, when we're just finding the magnitude of the force, we use the same formula, plugging in, if you notice, the same value for K, the same value for Q1, Q2, and R that we had on the front side. And that's because in this particular problem, I gave you the second problem with the same charges and same separation as you had on the front side. That means you should have a similar calculation here to find the actual magnitude of the force. Again, make sure you understand how to put this in your calculator, why the negative sign goes away, and why you have these times 10 to the minus 6, just like we discussed on the front side problem.